my dear students now we want to discuss <coughs> some problems of exercise 5.2 of ncrt of quadratic equations my dear students we have already solved the quadratic equation with real coefficient a b c and a is equal to not zero that is ax square bx plus c is equal to zero is a quadratic equation where a b c are the real coefficient and a is not equal to zero we have discussed the case d square minus 4ac greater than or equal to zero means when roots are real but when b square minus 4ac less than 0 b square minus 4ac less than 0 we did not discussed because the square root of this expression when b square minus 4ac less than 0 is not possible in case of real number but here we have already studied complex number the value of i square is equal to minus 1 this symbols here these symbols gives us the way by which we can find the solution of the quadratic equation whose roots are in complex number whose roots are in form of complex number suppose x square plus 3 is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation of course and here x square is equal to minus 3 so here the solution is not possible in case of real number as you know the square of any number is not negative but here we use the symbol i square is equal to minus 1 so root minus 3 is equal to root 3 i square so solution is root plus minus root 3 i so in term of complex number root is possible that's why under the chapter of complex number here we have to solve the solution of the equation we have to find the solution of the equation when the roots are in complex number now see example 2 x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 Here b square minus 4ac is equal to minus 3. So now the value of x can be written as minus 1 plus minus minus root 3 by 2 into 1. So now instead of minus, you write minus 1 plus minus root 3i square. So in term of minus 1, we use iota i square. so roots are here in term of complex number in this way we can solve the quadratic equation whose roots are complex number now my dear students i want to discuss some problems of exercise 5.3 these are root 2x square plus x plus root 2 root 3x square minus root 2x plus 3 root 3 is equal to 0 And x square minus x plus one by root two is equal to zero, one by one. Thank you, thank you very much.